today the topic of discussion is uh, print function in single linked list so prior to this what we have understood we have understood how to create menu of a linked list fine what are different menu and how menu works and then we understood how to create uh, now we have studied create functions so this is what we did uh, prior uh, to this video so I request you if you are coming directly to this video kindly see these the, uh, the video of create function so that you will understand what linked list is all about and how that structure works fine okay let's start with uh, print function so here we have a menu of a linked list fine so in menu uh, again what I'll, I'll try to explain you the menu again so uh, in a main function you have created a variable ch ch of integer type you can take any name while one means what condition always true condition always always true because anything other than zero is always true so if you have put one it is always true now you have print one create two print three insert four delete five exit this is what the menu is all about when you go to the restaurant you have a menu where something is written at one two three and four and five and you know order accordingly you just say to the waiter that bring three or uh, bring uh, item number four so this is what the menu is all about but here uh, we don't have any kind of dishes we have a link list so we have uh, the menu is create print insert delete and exit create we already did now our job is to print so what we'll do what we'll press we'll press two the, it is asking me enter the choice no somebody is standing in front of me and asking me what is the choice I press 2 so what ch will save 2 then switch will have 2 it will jump to case 2 case 2 is what print function is calling we are calling a print function so this is how that no uh, function is uh, calling that menu is working fine so I'll jump to this print function so we have already created our link list so I'll just show you the link list uh, this okay so now we have many things uh, we have our linked list also and we have a structure also why it is all about let me tell you so we have already created this link list prior to this video in create function that there are four nodes uh, five six seven and eight head is representing the first node that is hundred and tail is representing the last node that is four hundred fine okay so how this print function is working how this code is working so first of all you have created a pointer ptr of node one type and what is node one this is because this coding is all about so if if, if you are directly watching this video I request you to kindly watch the video one first fine okay so what we have node the node structure have two part one is data which is of integer type and one is address and this address is not a simple address the data type of this address is structure itself fine because this node this address is keeping the address of a node a node which is self composed of two part data and address that's why we have created a pointer type next of, of type data type struct node fine we have created a variable of type node one uh, having and we have type defined it so using type def we are you know we can use only node one if we will not use type def then right instead of node one you have to write struct node every time fine okay so this is what we have to do so in order to you know reduce our job we have created a uh, type def we have you no know, type defined this structure and created a, by it a name of node one fine okay so let's start with uh, the coding now so we have created a pointer ptr of node one type and node one is what the representation of this structure fine if head is equal to none in in, in linked list uh, what is head again I am saying it is very important head is a pointer which is keeping the address of a node so head is what hundred so is head is null no false condition is false why because head is having hundred you don't get confused with five if you if somebody is saying what is head you don't say five head data is five head next is 200 but if somebody is asking her head head is hundred similarly somebody is asking what is tail tail is 400 what is tail data eight what is tail next null fine so this is what you have to keep in mind you don't get confused with all these things fine so finally what happened so you have uh, you have head is equal to so if uh, you know condition is checking is head is equal to null condition is false condition is false so condition is false will not print this find else will go to the else part now in else part what we you did you are you know using a for loop and in for loop you what you did what you did you have initialized ptr with head if somebody say what is head 100 so ptr is now having 100 so ptr and head are pointing to the same node ptr and head are pointing to the same node head node so what is there in ptr 100 what is there in head 100 so first part for loop first part initialization done second is condition checking is ptr is equal to null 
is PTR not equal to null? Yes, PTR is not equal to null because there is 100. So condition becomes true. When condition becomes true, where you go? You could go to the coding part. So in coding, what you are doing? You are printing PTR data. And what is PTR data? 5. So what will happen? 5 will get printed and this tab will give the space. Fine. And after that, what is what do you do? You go to the increment part. You go to the increment part, which is which is the third part. So increment part is the third part. You go to the third part. And what you are doing? You are putting PTR is equal to PTR next. This means what you are inserting in PTR, PTR next. So what is PTR next? 200. So the new value of PTR will be 200. So PTR will come to the 200 part. Fine. Now PTR is representing a node having address 200. Now you will again check second part. Is PTR not equal to null? Yes, PTR is not null because the value of PTR is 200. Fine. Yes, PTR is not null. Very true. So where you will go uh, to the function part, to the execution part and what you will print? PTR data. And what is PTR data? 6. You will print 6. Fine. And then tab will give the space. Then space will come here. What you will do? You will again increment. PTR is equal to PTR next. PTR you will put PTR next. What is there in PTR next? 300. So PTR will jump to what? 300 PTR will come here. Fine. Okay. It will again check. PTR is not equal to null. Yes. Because PTR is 300. 300 is null. That condition is true. It will go inside and it will print PTR data. What is PTR data? 7. It will print 7 and this tab will give tab space and it will again increment PTR is going to PTR next. So what is PTR next? 400. So PTR next will have 400. So PTR will move to the 400. Now PTR and TR are representing the same node. No 400 node. Fine. So it will again check PTR is not null. Yes, PTR is not null because PTR is having 400. Condition true. It will go inside and print PTR data. What is PTR data? 8. It will print 8. Fine. Okay. And tab will give the tab space. What will what it will do? It will again go up and increment PTR. PTR is going to PTR next. What is there in PTR next? Null. Now PTR will have what null? Now finally PTR has null. It will go to second point and check is PTR not equal to null? Yes. PTR not equal to null? No. Condition becomes false now. PTR is null. Is PTR not null? No. Now PTR is null. Condition become false. You come out for loop. And the moment you come out for loop, you, you see the bracket. Bracket is of print function. You come out of that. And finally, what the answer you are getting is 5, 6, 7, and 8, which is absolutely fine. You are watching that. The, the answer is 5, 6, 7, and 8. 